Hey guys, got another battle for you here today. This is a pretty good one. It ended very close. I guess that's a slight spoiler. Um, yeah, it's against this guy called Vinny. And he's sending out a Greninja, which is an unusual lead. Mostly people don't lead with too many offensive Pokemon. And I'm just gonna go into my standard stat lead. I'm not gonna overthink it. Just gonna go straight for the straight for the fake out, and it does not take it well. Um, I know it's faster than me, so I'm not gonna U-turn. I'm gonna just switch right out into my Gyarados here to take the predicted water attack or any other special attack that they can go for. Gyarados could probably take pretty well. Um, it goes to the Surf though, and I take that. All right. And I see that it has the life orb, so that's going to come in handy later, knowing that this thing is life orb. It also comes in handy that he's going to U-turn. Um, so he takes more life orb damage. But that was a pretty good play, I guess, because I might have wanted to double switch, or I might have mega evolved, and then I would have taken some good damage from the U-turn. He's going to go up into his Skarmory, and I went for the Stone Edge here, thinking that I want to hurt maybe the Dragonite if you want to switch it in or um, anything else that with this <laughs> waterfall <laughs> um, so I'm going to switch out into my Explode here, my Wall Breaker on the Skarmory um, I know that Boom Burst is going to easily 2 hit KO and that he's probably going to switch out predicting some special attack probably Fire Blast so I'm just going to go straight for the Boom Burst because it will do big damage to anything that wants to switch in including this Gujar here that's going to take a clean half from this Boom Burst but it's a critical hit so I know it's going to probably take two more of those to kill it and I go for that but then it kills it because I get a second critical hit so I'm really hacking this guy to death right now and well what can I say that's the way it goes sometimes he's going to go into this kind of scan and I'm just going to go into my Kanga counter, my Hollow, my Gorgeist. Um, people keep complaining about Kanga Scan, but I don't usually have a problem with Mega Kanga Scan at all. Because I'm usually running either my Gorgeist or my Trevenant, and both of them do with Kanga Scan pretty well. Um, he's going to go straight for the Mega Evolution. Sometimes it's better to not Mega Evolve and go for the Scrappy Power Up Punch, or the Scrappy Return to hit ghosts like this when they try to switch in. But he went straight for the Mega Evolution, and now I see that he's carrying Crunch. And <laughs> why would you carry Crunch and Sucker Punch? I guess for situations like this, right? So that does a monster some of damage, and then I miss my Will O Wisp. So <laughs> this is a terrible situation to be in. I have nothing that wants to switch directly into this thing, so I have to leave my Gorgas in today. And that's going to be my Gorgas taken out cleanly by this guy in the scan. They didn't get to do a thing to it. So I think that miss really makes up for the double crit. Because we both <laughs> lost the Pokemon for it. At least his Boudreau got in a Sludge Bomb. But my Gorgas, which is supposed to be a Kanga Scan counter, did absolutely nothing to the scan Scan. Now, my, my um, Stall B here is pretty defensive. So I think, okay, I can take a return. I can set up, and then I can do some... Like, switch into my... Pass into my... Um, my Agron or something, but look at what that return does. All I can, if I didn't have a Citrus Berry, I would die, and I can say that I'm really, really lucky that Citrus Berry activates in between Kangaskhan's hits. That's something that I, <laughs> I should definitely keep in mind in the future. So I just barely survive. Um, I go for the Protect to get the second speed boost, but I, obviously I'm not going to pass out right here because whatever comes in is going to get hit really hard. And I have the plus two, so I just go for the Mega Horn. I take it out. I mean, he's not going for Sucker Punches, because he's expecting me to pass out, so... Might as well just go straight for the attack. But now he's going to go into his Mammoth Swing, and I don't have anything that wants to switch into this. So I'm just... And the spikes are on the field, and I don't have my Crobat to default. So I just leave my Skull Feed in, unfortunately. And now I'm going to go into my Gyarados here, get up the Intimidate. And I assume that it's sashed like most of the mammoth wings so I'm just going to go for the waterfall I didn't want to mega evolve because then he would be able to hit me with earthquake even though I would have taken the first icicle crash 
and I really don't want to commit to Mega Garios right now because I'm running dual Megas on this team and I think I'm probably going to want to Mega Evolve into m with Agron later so I take this thing down to its Sash um, it takes up my Gyarados and then I'm going to come in with that and finish off with Fake Out so we're pretty much just really taking out each other's Pokemon at a rapid rate at this point um, he's going to go back into this Greninja I know he's going to outspeed and kill me but once again I don't have a switch in I don't have anything that can switch in and take two of these things and I don't want to sacrifice any of the guys I have left so I figured that sat is the, it's best to sacrifice that Zyra right now because it can do the least to what's left on his team which is I believe this Greninja, the Skarmory and the Dragonite at this point um, he's going to go for that stab, ice beam life arm and explode just barely manages to survive which is great because now I get to take it out and I'm still alive for when the next Pokemon he wants to send in comes in so I get to see, although it doesn't really matter because all I have left is my Agron behind this expert he decides to go into his Skarmory and I'm just going to go for the Boom Burst it does way more than half <laughs> it almost kills actually even though it's resisted hit and he's going to decide to go for the Whirlwind I guess to get some more damage on my Aggron since he knows that the next thing that thing is going to switch in um, is going to die so this gets some damage on my Aggron and takes out the Explode at the same time so I guess it, it's a pretty good play um, I decide to set up here because I definitely want to be faster than the Dragonite when it comes in that's critical right now to be faster than the Dragonite but he's just going to Whirlwind again um, so Explode gets taken out obviously and I'm going to go back into my Agron so it, it's taken two sets of stealth damage of uh, not stealth damage, what, what does that even mean? <laughs> two, two sets of spikes damage and I'm going to once again go for the rock polish um, he's going to go for the brave bird because he doesn't really have any options right now oh no sorry he goes for the roofs trying to see if he can survive longer I guess but I mean the only thing he has for me to hit me with is Brave Bird as a typical Skarmory would have and I resist I resist Brave Bird um, by 4 times 4 so Head Smash does like about a half a bit less than a half total HP so some pretty good damage against a Skarmory he gets a crit with his Brave Bird which totally mattered of course I mean look at that that was massive damage so <laughs> I'm going to just finish it off with a head smash here the reason I really like using Agron is because it can work it, it does work as an Agron and it also does work as a Mega Agron so I, I find it really fun to use for that reason knowing when to evolve and when not to evolve so here I choose to Mega Evolve obviously because Dragonite have Earthquake and I, uh, Earthquake would take out my Agron so I just use Heavy Splam to um, break its multi-scale because I figured with multi-scale it could take a, a head smash even from my normal aggro when it was stabbed so I Mega Evolve because I know I'm going to need to take an Earthquake and I do that very handily and then take him out with a head smash but unfortunately I'm no longer immune to recoil damage so that's going to take me out too so the game ends with us having zero Pokemon each, it's zero zero but I still win because if you didn't know um, in Pokemon when you use an, um, a move that takes out your opponent and takes you out as well you win it's the move that once it's the move that takes them out that you use you win so I still win even though it's a zero zero score so that was the closest game possible pretty much and I really had a blast I hope you guys enjoyed Take care of yourselves and I'll see you later.